What's up everybody, 3D Pathfinder here. So, we got some things going on. Like I've said before, shout out to uh, MicroSwiss for sending me over their Flowtech hot end for the Creality K1 Max. That's going to be going on there as soon as I get done printing these three lithophanes. Um, but, the big story is, this showed up today. What is Creality up to? So, by way of Creality, we have the new Creality Ender 3 V3 KE. What you get in this little machine right here is basically a quite substantial upgrade to the classic Ender 3 line. Now, love them or hate them, Creality it's kind of responsible for bringing 3D printing into the affordable realm for the average hobbyists and stuff with their release of their Indus series and things like that. Now, this bears some resemblance in name and some other things to the original Ender series, but with some very good upgrades. One, straight out of the box, very easy to put together. All you got to do, put the gantry on, take three screws on each side, you attach the screen on the side with three screws as well. You attach the uh, filament holder with two screws and you come around here. Make sure you switch your voltage from 230 to 115. You plug in some cables for the stepper motors and things like that. You plug in your filament sensor and of course you take the packaging and stuff like that off. And there's one wire attached that goes through here underneath the bed that you hook up right there. You bring your ribbon cable around, you go through your little holder here, and then you come around to the top, you plug it in there where it's keyway, so you guess you could plug it in backwards, but you'd have to really try, and then you'd mess stuff up. So it would kind of be self-evident that that's not the way it's supposed to go. But other than that, that's pretty much it. You turn the thing on, you walk through the traditional steps, what language you would like to speak for that day, then you go through. Now this is Wi-Fi enabled. What's great about that is you add this to the network and then you come over here and you're using the Creality Print, which is just a Cura, you know, basically. So you can go over here one, you can just change to whatever you want. So see, there's my Ender 3 and then my K1 Max. But when you go to devices, you can add the device to Creality Print on the LAN here. So you see, I got K1 Max there. I got the KE right there. I go back there. I slice the file on the K1, go to LAN Print, slice it, go to LAN Print, send it to the K1, it prints. Vice versa, slice something for the KE come over here hit land print send it to this printer boom now that's great if uh, you're not wanting to hassle with USB sticks matter of fact I can take that one out um, that was just for the benchy which this was the benchy printed very well printed it about 15 minutes I think uh, it actually came in under the time that it said it was supposed to be a 16 minute but it came in at 15 minute, the writing is perfectly legible on the bottom. Good quality, uh, especially for as fast as that thing was going. I got to get this on a better table than this uh, cheap little plastic table because this thing was back and forth. Anyway, I got to I got to get a better table, um, and that's it. You can start printing, auto bed leveling. So as you see, there's no adjustments under there. It does it all itself. Okay, it also does auto Z offset with, see that touch back there? Yeah, see? So for a beginner, that's fantastic. You take it out of the box, you put it together, it takes about 10 minutes, even if you're not really trying, and let it go through its self-check, which is a perfectly, uh, it's a completely automated self-check. So it'll go through all of its checks, make sure the nozzle heats up, this nozzle also is the same nozzle that comes on the K1 and the K1 Max. This nozzle goes up to 300 degrees Celsius. So if you did potentially want to get an enclosure for this thing, ABS is on the menu, okay? So 
but with the auto bed level, the auto Z offset, from a beginner standpoint, this is your first 3D printer. I think these are running between 250 and 299 right now. Uh, Amazon is out of stock of them, so they're either selling or, or whatever. But uh, you know, under 300 bucks. I know they're going to go on sale before the holidays, so you got that to look forward to. But if you're looking at getting into a a beginner-friendly 3D printer, this is fantastic for the features that you get. Clipper-enabled machine can print up to 500 millimeters per second. That realistically, you're not going to be printing anything at that speed anyway. It's kind of more for marketing numbers. Oh, look how fast our printer is. Doesn't really matter if it prints at a you know 2,000 millimeters per second if the prints come out looking like some kind of sh war shack or something like that i mean it's that's not going to do unless you're printing a war shack i guess whatever but great features packed into an affordable printer 220 by 220 classic bed volume as you can see i'm printing a flexi right here this is from the dragon's den check her stuff out i've got uh, a commercial license for a bunch of her stuff that i'm going to be selling and things on my uh soon to come Shopify store and uh, but it's direct drive it uses the sprite extruder on it so that's fantastic it's got great features great part cooling uh, as you can hear I mean you probably hear the bamboo lab printing over there more than you hear this thing I think this is set at 250 millimeters per second right now just because I didn't want to shake the, 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 the uh, table apart so there you go man this is just very quick first look i'll do a deeper dive later i just wanted to get this thing up and printing also something to consider i know some of y'all aren't gonna like it but this could potentially be a little inexpensive print farm computer you know if you had a row of four or five of these all on the creality print network and you got a k1 max in there and a k1 in there whatever you can have you a little print farm you just slicing all from the same program kind of like bamboo and the orca now they've got the mini they got the p1p and they got the p1s and they got the x1 carbon and now they have the a1 combo no i don't have one because i'm not important enough to get one but i'm a little conflicted on that anyway but that's another subject maybe someday uh i'll get something from bamboo i like my p1s for now fantastic printer but this little guy right here so far i'm very impressed very easy to set up um, effortless startup sequence it did everything for me so even someone dumb like me can figure it out and i didn't set z offset this it set itself so what it's printing right now it set that i i didn't set first layer or anything like that so really good so stay with me i appreciate all the support check me out on tiktok as well I've got over 200 followers over there now, so it's growing pretty good. But uh, we'll come back to this more later. Thank y'all.